Um, the first piece I'm going to do today is called My 18th, and this is a true story, so be careful when you go out on your 18th birthday and watch where you go. I turned 18 last night, so my friends took me out, right? I made sure my teeth were looking white and my skinny jeans not too tight. And I made sure my aftershave was just right because tonight I was hoping to invite some hot girls who were looking for a good night. It doesn't matter if they're black or white, I'm going to be like Usher and make love <laughs> in the club tonight. We get to the club and it was opening night. I went to the bar to order some Sprite Light because I didn't want to get drunk just yet tonight. And in the corner there was some crazy woman trying to sell me some white. I said, love, I'm alright. I went to the dance floor, right, trying to skank it out, look like a right side. So many women in here tonight. Shame they're not my height. Maybe they'll shrink during the night. There was just one girl in the corner, right? Looked a good height. <laughs> Didn't seem too heavy. Looked like... Rihanna in Live Your Life, right? I winked at her and I said, All right. <laughs> Thinking in my head, I'm going home with her tonight. She was proper loving me, right? So I thought I might... <laughs> Then her boyfriend came over, right? <laughs> Guess what? He wanted a fight. He was double my height and looked like he could eat me in one bite. He was six foot three and white and had the words fight me in the back of his head. It didn't look right. He was a knucklehead. It didn't look right. So I thought I might just talk him out of the situation. I could tell his girlfriend was nervous to me. I could see it on our sweating foundation. I said to him, excuse me, sir. Please don't bruise my face. I'm on my birthday celebration. I would have pulled away if I had the correct information that you were her man. <laughs> so if you want to end all this craziness and just shake my hand. He pulled back his arm to swing it. It would have been a one punch sort of knockout. The girl undid her shoestring. Her six inch stiletto looking all sharp and tin. And he hit the back of his head like a feasting. <laughs> the king of the club dropped. I opened my eyes, and to a surprise, I weren't dead. Instead, Goliath was down. I looked around and I asked her where she'd learned to hit a guy like that. She said her dad made Mortal Kombat, and she could take down any man. She told me her name was Daisy, so I knew this chick was crazy. I wasn't gonna ask for a number, I wasn't being lazy. Wow, if this is what it's like to be 18, I'm gonna stay in on my Friday night. <laughs> Yeah, be careful when you go on here. Friday night, it's crazy people out. Um, my next one is called Afro Kid. This is my Afro. And yeah, whenever you're ready, boss. <laughs> I'm a broke superhero I'm waiting for the call To go and rescue the next chick in distress Then my afro starts to tingle So I grab my cape I start to fly So she can escape He flies through the air He's afro kid It gives him picky hair He's afro kid People think he's crazy He's afro kid But he just don't care He's afro kid I arrive at the scene Afro kid The damsel screams I fly low Cause now she's in need This is the work of my arch enemy Dr. S, he's been studying my afro curls as part of his evil project. Then the damsel screams as she hands a big pen. When the clock strikes ten, the world will end. He flies through the air. He's afro kid. It gives him picky hair. He's afro kid. People think he's, he's crazy. He's afro kid. He just don't care. He's afro kid. I see Dr. X laughing with his evil subjects. I shout, this is enough. You've been fooled since the age of three. Your hair loss has nothing to do with me, so let the dancer go. It's too late, kid. You've only got two minutes to live. Unless you get me the Afro lotion. No, that's my mother's secret potion. He's Afro kid. It gives him picky hair. He's Afro kid. People think he's crazy. He's Afro kid. But he just don't care. He's Afro kid. 60 seconds later. 
death. I let my afro in a big cane row and the damsel climbs down. Doctor X looks vexed. 30 seconds left. I look to the damsel and say, I don't mean to offend, but we don't have much time left. And you have a lot of hair. There must be some spare weave tracks you can spare. She kisses her teeth but complies with the same and gives X's her second hand hair extensions. His hair warms his head and moves down to his heart. His anger for me dissolves and his hatred falls apart. He pats his weave and halts the countdown and skips off without care, leaving me with one pissed off damsel with half the head of hair. <laughs> he flies through the air. He's Afro kid. It gives him picky hair. He's Afro kid. People think he's crazy. He's Afro kid. He just don't care. He's Afro kid. Hey. Um, 